Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be working on installing a SSD, in this case an ADATA SU650, into a PS3. So this is actually a really good budget SSD. This is 120 gigabytes, and I think it's only about $20. It's a pretty good, pretty fast, solid state drive so far. So the thing is, is that we're going to be installing this in the PS3 because this drive is old, it's slow, and yeah. So besides SSDs are going to be much faster, etc. So this is going to be kind of a tutorial on how to install a solid state drive into your PlayStation 3. So first off, make sure it's unplugged everything. Then you want to get something like a screwdriver, something like that, kind of work it underneath this corner here and not make a nice scratch, but at the right it's just a cover. Okay, and then you're going to want to get a Phillips head screwdriver, which See here, this one should. I'm gonna drop it. This one should be okay. Oops, sorry. Wrong screwdriver. There we go. Okay, so that will come out. And then, actually, we're already gonna go down like this now, so that will come out. And then you have your drive. So here you go, here you go, you have a bunch of screws and stuff in here. So now you just want to take out all four screws. That didn't look good. That's just here. Yeah, no, normally I don't make these kind of videos like the direct camera film kind of thing, but you know, figure this would be an interesting video for some people. Probably looks terrible, but a first time doing this kind of thing. Our friend and cameraman Chronomancer, on the other hand, is a very experienced cameraman. So he is probably about the best. <laughs> He's probably, probably about the best that we could possibly have in terms of a cameraman, rather than me filming or trying to film with one handed. And if you like gaming content and content like mine, then check out Chronomancer's channel. He does a lot of Let's Plays, Minecraft, Alan Wake, streams, VR, etc. So feel free to check him out. So here's our drive with the Toshiba. Toshibas, I hate Toshibas. The laptops are terrible. And they were slow. So all right, so now you wanna take your old drive here and let's see here. If you wanna have a connector like this and go in, should slide all the way back in there like that. And then we wanna put our four screws back in. This is where I'm going to wish I had a magnetic screwdriver. Having a magnetic screwdriver would be really helpful because it basically holds a screw in place while I'm trying to screw it into the drive. And if you don't have a magnetic screwdriver, and if you think ahead like like I didn't, then um, you can probably go ahead and just take any old magnet and rub it against the tip of the end of a screwdriver and that should magnetize it. So if you don't have one, you can just take any old magnet and do that and that'll be helpful. Okay, and here is about the, the final drop it. Here is the last screw here, which of course is going to fight with me. go Let's see here that, that. oops sorry I changed the angle here this one screw here is pumping there it goes okay so now as I'll show you here, let me get out my own phone here. So you can see the connectors right here. So here's that. If you look inside the PlayStation here, we can see that the smaller connectors on the left, big connectors on the right. So in this case, then let's see here, it go in just like that. Smaller connector would be on the left, bigger connector on the right. So you just put that in there. And then you take your other screw, the blue, this one's blue tips, so you can't really get it mixed up easily. 
then you just want to go screw it back into place. Like that. And then you have your cover, which I accidentally scratched, but that's okay. Should go right back into place. There we go. So now we're going to hook it up. So beforehand, um, I want to explain something to you. So looking at our TV screen here, uh, you can see we have a folder on a flash drive called PS3. We have update and ps3update.pup. So this file here is going to be what you're going to need to reinstall the operating system. So if we plug this in here, and once we get back into safe mode, because I'll show you real quick what it, what it looks like. Um, we don't have the operating system installed, but once we get back into safe mode, we can reinstall the operating system. And that's my dog Uzo in the background. Okay. So now you're going to want to take your controller and your cable. You're going to need this is going to charge your PlayStation controller. You're going to plug it in. It will be blinking like crazy. Plug it in. All good. System software cannot be wrong corrected. Press PS1 to try again. Restart the system. If it cannot be restarted, partition of the problem or sorry, system storage must be reformatted. You must reinstall the system software. So here, for your flash drive with the update in here, and press start and select. So this will format your drive by the way. Um, if you have anything on the drive, then just keep that in mind. This will go ahead and format it. Um, this one used to be out of a laptop, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. It's still all the same. Should work, no problem. Like I said, an SSD should be a lot faster, a lot more efficient. Um, I was going to put this in a uh, older backwards compatible PlayStation 3. I thought maybe a little bit more efficient, run a little bit cooler, which those ones are known to be hot. See, so your system edition will now be formatted, so press start and select. You must hold that for five seconds. But yeah, that system I had died, so yeah, the laser went out. Now we will wait. This whole process shouldn't take too long. If anybody is curious too about the screwdriver set I'm using, this is a Stanley Precision Head screwdriver set. So this is this is gonna be really handy for this kind of stuff. I got this as a gift, so I couldn't tell you how much it cost, but you know, it's a good set. Anyway, though, so yeah, from, from this point onward, it's going to go ahead and format and reinstall the operating system, and I will cut back to you when we have that. One. Okay, everyone, so here we are, we're back, and, you know, there is the initial setup you have to go through it, that's pretty simple, though. Um, so here we are on the PlayStation das dashboard, not dashboard, dashboard would, would be like German dashboard. Let's see here. So, if we go into, I'm trying to remember what it is exactly. System settings. Yeah, it should be all the way at the bottom here. We have system information. You can see we're running. So, 97 free gigabytes of 111 gigabytes. Um, I'm not going to do any tests to prove to you that this is, in fact, a solid state drive. You would have to take my word for it. Um, and, yeah, like I said, I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a very good option, very good thing. I mean, hard drives like this, this is the old hard drive, I just don't think are worth it anymore. So, you know, this is a very simple, straightforward process. You can see it, you know, just you buy one, you bolt it in, and it works. So, just be aware of what you're getting into, and enjoy your faster load times. So, thanks all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you, Chronomancer, for filming. And if you want to see more like this, and please like and subscribe. Share, share with your friends, and go visit my channel. Go visit Chronomancer's channel, too. So, thanks for watching, everyone.